Verona Lacrosse is back for season three of String League. The one and only Joe Williams, Brooklyn's finest. He's got a great challenge for you. Check out what they've got going on and see if you can match up to Joe's high standards for a quality strong stick. Throne has always been about being true to yourself and being one of one. For our competition, contestants will have to pick their own inspiration and execute a completely custom setup. And since it's Throne, of course, we're looking for a completely unique identity that is brought throughout the die and the pocket. And contestants are able to use up to three different powder pigments and any stringing system offered by Throne Across to make their vision come to fruition. May creativity reign. Third place is going to receive a custom fiber system package. Second place is gonna receive that as well and also a fiber powder package. And first place is also gonna receive both of those and some unreleased Throne apparel. Every year, I think I've seen the best in String Link and for the past two years, you guys have always one-upped it. This year, impress me. Ah! Hey, it's Joe from Throne Lacrosse, and I got the results of week two of season three of String League with the Throne Custom Challenge. Coming in number six, we have Phil Pierce. Uh, he immediately got five or six, actually two of the guys used non-Throne provided materials, um, which was not part of the competition and made it unfair to the other four. So they automatically got six and five. So it pretty much just came down to overall theme and kind of die execution, because I kind of threw the pockets, because both of them used non-stringing materials in the pockets to the side and fills was just a little bit more of the generic um, kind of seen it before themes and dies. Coming in number five, we have Richie Bennett. He used non-thrown materials for the project as well. Um, just his theme of kind of fight club, string club, I think was a lot stronger and the execution of the dye and the colorways was more unique. Coming in number four, we have Matt Simpson. He did end up with a pretty cool custom, but it just looked a little bit dull compared to the other ones in the competition because uh, he kind of started with a weaker theme and I think that just kind of led him through. Did two cool things though. The die actually inverted in the mid rail of the head and he dyed the throne leather, so it was creative. Coming in number three, we have Taylor Smoke who had an awesome theme of Marvin the Martian and executed the, the die look and the pocket and the stringing around that theme very successfully. I love that the two-tone on the die on the bottom and he picked a really hard die compared to everyone else to execute. He had two punch outs, one with two color, one with one, and one around the scoop. Very, very difficult, so kudos for going hardcore at the challenge. Um, just the, as you can see, the die wasn't executed perfectly. Uh, it is a very hard die though, and I love the colors and also the use of the red, uh, the ruby spectrum, kind of for the laser gun of the Martian. Um, if this had a clean die, it probably would have got first place. Coming in number two, we have Chris Burke. This one looks totally different than all the other ones. Uh, it's kind of painterly, which I think is super cool. And I love that he used the one string going all the way around and hand cut his own decals, being very creative. And uh, it's just very him. And I just like that he took kind of a simple theme and did it in his own little way and ended up with a pretty successful custom. And coming in at number one, we have Chris Deal. The dude slayed it, exactly what I was looking for. Super creative, had a really simple, awesome theme, but then the actual project itself elevated it. The die is absolutely insane. And then for the most part, he was one of the only ones that really took the identity of the theme and really executed it in the pocket by making it look like a volcano and it's all black and the way he looped it around. Um, super creative and also kind of in his images and videos, he got it, he absolutely crushed it, and he totally deserves first place. Just when you thought String League couldn't get any better, our contestants come up with that? That was unbelievable. Well, let's check in and see how the leaderboard was affected. Uh, yeah, can I get some of that yellow sidewall? Yeah. Ooh, actually on second thought, that lime green looks good. Let's go with that. Well, I don't know. The white seems nice and clean. Maybe I should go with white. Let's go with white. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah I don't know. Really, dude? Let's go with... Let's go with the yellow. Yeah, let's go with the yellow. It's my school colors. Yellow's my favorite color. 
You know, mom says it complements my eyes. Let's go with that. 